Okay, this is my other motor, kind of Muller motor based, but it's got two rotors. See here, there's one and two. In between, I have this plate, stator plate here with eight coils on it. They have ferrite cores. And the one third of the core is wrapped with a motor coil, and then the remaining two thirds is those pickup coils. So, this is even more efficient motor design because the uh, coils are squeezed by magnets on each end, so when the motor coil fires one end of the core, it also will uh, push or pull the magnet on the other side. So the coils and cores are doing twice the work as normal. So this is that. And uh, I have a Hall effect that uh, is timed right off the rotor magnets I found right here. On these magnets. These magnets are very thin, only like two millimeters thick or so. <clears throat> They're 20 millimeters wide. And uh, here I'm just going to spin this. It almost wants to run itself. Spins really good. Has a good sound. This doesn't have the odd versus even thing like 9 versus 16 or 9 versus 8 the magnets to the coils. This is 16 magnets all facing the same direction on each rotor and 8. Uh, coils and cores in between. Okay, I'm going to take this apart now because I want to check a few things on it and maybe I'll get it running today but I don't know. So I'm going to take it apart and show, the, show everything. Okay. Basically, I'll just show you how it comes apart. Take off these bolts, these bolts, and the uh, stator plate split right here. It's cut right there, so once you get these bolts off, you do these unscrews and you pull the top half of the stator plate off. Then you can lift the rotor out. And uh, this comes apart right here, two screws, so the top half, so the bearing will be exposed. And it's no big deal. This is that uh, same stuff I used on the other one that was pink, polyurethane. Uh, and I made it from some concrete float tools they have over here. Um, okay, I'm going to take it apart. Actually, before I take it apart, I want to show you the air gap. It's very tight. Right in there, see it? Very tight air gap. And those are ferrite cores in there. So, okay, now I'm going to take it apart. Okay, I got these bolts out up here. Took two screws out here. Now I can lift this stator. This is the three coils on the top of the stator. 
I made it like this so you can pull it apart easy. So, here, this is a motor coil here. These are motor coils back here. They're about, I don't know, five millimeters, eight millimeters thick or so. I don't know. But they cover the third of this distance. See the entire coil is this long. There's a ferrite core in here. So one third of it, I did one third of it motor coil here and then the rest is all pickup lines. So for every coil there's four wires coming off of it, two for the motor coil and two for the pickup lines. So there's that. Now take these off. I call them bearing holders, I guess. These come off. Now I should be able to just lift this out of here. Oh! I have to do a little more. Hold on. Have to pull this plate off too. And I have it marked. I put it right back how it was. Okay, I got that apart. Now this comes out. Not much to this, just this is kind of the holder plate for the statters. Now I can lift it out. Oh this has those uh same type of bearings, ceramic skateboard bearings. So that's the dual rotor motor, I call it. I balanced it. And here it is. So it has those coils in between, so pretty cool I guess. So here's the lower plate of five coils. That the upper plate fits onto. Like that. So, taking it apart. You see I used a lot of that hot glue for this. It can't withstand high temperatures, that's for sure. But, you know, if anything gets hot, it's no good. So, and uh, all the steel is ferrous steel. I, I can't find any stainless steel or brass stuff out here where I'm at. A country called Belarus. So that's what I'm using. But it's, it's not interfering with the rotation of the magnets. So there's that. Disassembled dual rotor motor. Okay, thanks.